In this video, I'm going to walk you through Valto's Microsoft Viva Adoption Workshop. Now, this is the first step that you can take to ensuring a Viva adoption is successfully rolled out. I'm going to walk you through what a typical Viva workshop looks like, and then at the end, I'm going to explain what the next steps are following on from a workshop. We always start off a workshop with introductions. We give you a bit of an understanding of who Valto are as a company based in the UK uh, with offices in London, Southampton, Chester, as well as the USA. We not only specialise in Viva, but other modern workplace solutions such as Teams, SharePoint uh, and other Microsoft 365 services. We also offer a managed service desk as well as Azure and infrastructure services, building out mobile applications using Power Platform as well as data and AI, as well as Copilot and other automation solutions. As part of the introductions, we want to understand your history, your company goals, as well as your own personal goals. What would a successful adoption of Microsoft Viva mean to you? Um, we also want to look at what the goals of Viva will be. So um, why are you trying to do this? What are you trying to achieve? And where you're up to in the journey of deploying and adopting Microsoft Viva. We'll then give you a demonstration of the key Viva products. Now we typically focus mostly on Viva Engage as well as Viva Connections, but we can also dive into Viva Goals, Insights, Learning, Pulse, and all of the other Viva products and services. Then we move on to the needs assessment. In this portion of the workshop, we focus on setting objectives, not only for the workshop, but also the follow-up report that you'll receive after the workshop. It'll include things like timeframes, who are the key stakeholders, the priorities, as well as how to measure those specific objectives. We'll then talk about use cases, mapping them out against your business goals. We want to identify specific use cases based on job roles or departments, and then we'll discuss the best product for the job. We want to be thinking about key areas such as employee engagement, increases in productivity, as well as knowledge sharing. We'll then use a bit of a calculation to prioritize those use cases by looking at the effort versus the impact that it will make. The next portion of the workshop will look at the integrations of existing or potentially new apps or third party integrations that you might use along with Viva. This will start off by looking at current ways of working. How are you currently working? And then considering how Viva maps to that. We'll look at some of the Microsoft apps that you're currently using, things like Teams or SharePoint, as well as that any third party applications that you're using or wish to include as part of their scope of work. We'll then discuss the best practice um, for deploying these individual products, as well as that any security considerations that you might need to consider. Then we'll talk about what will remain the same. So what are we going to continue using and what will change? So either new products and applications or different ways of approaching using the applications. Then we'll move to talking about training and adoption. This is where we talk about defining target user groups, whether it be leadership, frontline workforce, or different social groups. We discuss who should receive training how is that training going to be delivered, as well as what materials will be provided alongside this. Will you train the trainers yourself, or would you like Valto to do that for you? We can also talk about what support do you require post-implementation, as well as keeping momentum going through either webinars, competition, or using the praise feature. This is something Valto found very successful using the praise feature in Viva Engage, to give people a good feel about the platform and keep them returning back there, increasing that adoption rate and success as an outcome. So this was just a whistle-stop tour of what the Viva Adoption Workshop includes, but essentially this has covered off the key areas that you need to know. The objective of our workshop is to ensure you understand the services and realize the true value that Viva products can bring to your organization. Following on from the workshop, You'll be given a report with recommendations within one week of the final workshop. The workshop is typically either a full day on site or broken out over multiple sessions remotely via Teams. It is uh, 
also offering fixed prices for setting up and the adoption packages following on from the workshop. And typically these projects start within four weeks and most adoption packages last somewhere between six to 12 weeks. We do offer a one hour free consultation, which you can book using the contact form below and have a conversation with one of our adoption specialists to discuss how we can help you. If you've got any questions at all, please feel free to get in touch.